well hi everyone it's Carly and I have been laying in bed like the entire morning so it's like 11:45 right now and I got up at 9 and I've just been watching YouTube videos watching TV and doing random stuff with my stretch band so my mom and dad went up to the hospital to see my grandpa and later I dance like super soon maybe like a couple of hours so I'm just gonna get in the shower and I'm gonna start getting ready and yeah so today is the Super Bowl which is the uh, Patriots versus the Falcons I think not sure I don't really like football and originally I was gonna have Lily come over but she can't come anymore so Lillian who has been here before I don't know if you guys know who she is <laughs> but she's been over to my house before and she's been in videos so yeah I don't know if you remember her but she has been in some videos so hopefully you guys remember her and she is coming over later after dance and it stinks that I have dance on this day because you would think I would want to be hanging out with my friends but dance is more important I've been watching Impractical Jokers for like an hour now and I have to clean up my room Take a shower, get ready for dance, and then for the rest of the day, I'm free to do whatever I feel like doing. So, bye! Alright, so I just got done getting ready for dance, and so I really don't have like actual dance practice, I just have solo and do it. But, feeling really random, so, put some hand sanitizer on. So, you have no idea. So you have no idea how it feels being in this room. So I have like a super messy room and it's like super hard because now that like I know that I'm moving, I know that eventually I'm gonna have a new room. And I'm not saying I hate this room, I just don't like the style of it. Like I don't like how there's colored buckets with that. Like I like rooms to be plain and this just feels like clutter to me. So like now that I know that I'm moving, I just feel like I'm going to get a new room soon, so this room is the past. And even though, like, I'm still going to be living here for, like, another three months, like, every single time I clean my room, it just gets super messy after that. So, I need a way to clean my room and have it stay that way, because for some reason, that's not working out. Alright, so there's Lily, <laughs> and her boyfriend left. <laughs> And then my dad and my mom made some food, so oh, some yeah. meatballs. Oh, are these like those like hot dog things? Yeah. With some hot dogs. <laughs> With some chicken. You guys made a mess. Oh yeah, that was nice. Chase. You want some? No. No, yes you do. Well, well there's Carissa. <laughs> Cheeto paws. They taste gross. They're gross? Yeah. Why? Wow. Well, they taste like cheese balls. <laughs> they're like, they don't really taste like cheese. They're too cheesy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so guys, we're sitting here watching some stupid football game on TV. I don't know what the big deal is and why we had to cook food. And all sit in front of the TV like it's a big deal. Wait, nobody's given me any food yet, so it's not a very good day for me. So me and Carissa are choreographing. It's really good. Me and Carissa are choreographing a yoga dance. We just did that airplane thing and she flung me into the piano. Don't fling me up, okay? Promise? Okay. Okay. No hooters if you do. Okay, come on. <laughs> Five, six, seven, one, 
You think jump. I can't do it. I don't trust you. I can't look at your face up. Wait, hold on, let me roll Okay, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. You actually have to grab one. Here, I'll put my wrist here. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Okay, then next to the ball. So I go down. I go one, two, three. Hi guys, so it's pretty late at night, everyone's in bed, and I'm just waiting for the last load of laundry to finish up so I can get to bed myself, and uh, I really don't think we have much footage for the video today, because I know I didn't really film anything, and I had Carly, I told her before we left this morning to don't forget to film a little bit, and she said she did, but I'm not really sure how much. Um, tonight we did just cook up some snacks for dinner and watch the Super Bowl together as a family, so that was nice, but, um, just wasn't up for, like, really filming anything, you know, much for the day, so I actually debated just not posting anything tomorrow, but then I figured that that just wasn't, like, wouldn't be right to kind of just, like, you know not post anything and not share with you guys really what's going on and I don't know so uh, so earlier today Ken and I visited my dad in the hospital and he's really not doing very well um, I'm really hoping tomorrow when I go back to the hospital to visit him that he's made some progress and doing better um, without getting into like just too many details of everything, he's been kind of having some health issues off and on like the past year or so. I think you guys remember in one of our other vlogs before I'd taken Chase and Carly up to the hospital to visit him. Well, most recently, like right after Christmas, he actually had a pacemaker put in and then just the past like four weeks, the whole month of January since then, his health has just been getting worse and worse and my mom's been really struggling to take care of him at home and and after a really long couple of weeks we finally convinced him to go and oh, there's my last load of laundry if you can hear that beeping um but he finally went into the hospital on friday and the first 24 hours he was doing okay and then the last 24 hours have been pretty rough, pretty bad. A lot of really bad news has been coming in from like his test results and stuff and the doctors pretty much just said the next like day or two we're really going to be able to tell if he's makes progress and it's going to pull through or if things are just going to continually get worse and um that sort of thing. It's hard to talk about it without getting into details, but that's just definitely not something I want to do right now. Um, I think it just really comes down to me sharing this at this point just because I just don't know what's going to happen over these next few weeks and stuff. And just wanted to let you guys know that, um, you know, if we don't post or if you don't see me in the videos or if they're really short or whatever, this is why. Um, you know, our channel is definitely something that I take a lot of pride in. I work really hard and all that, but, um, you know, 
sometimes things just happen and you have to take time away and I just feel like there's just certain things that like you know you want to keep private and they're personal and I'm not gonna I don't know I'm, I just don't want to get into all that I guess it's just not something I want to be out and open about and in fact um earlier today Ken posted something on Facebook and then I just had tons of my friends texting me and messaging me which is super super nice but like that just shows you guys like when things like this happen I don't reach out to people I don't want to talk about it I don't want to like I don't know how else to explain it like I just keep more like things to myself and deal with it like you know Ken he's my rock he's who I rely on and um, I appreciate my friends and I know they're there for me but like at the same time it's like when you involve friends and you're talking about it every minute of the day it just makes it more and more real and I'm more of one of those like let's be in denial let's pretend this really isn't happening and only deal with it when I have to and that's just kind of how I've been my whole entire life even a few years ago when my grandma got really sick and before she passed away it was like I'm not trying to be mean or like it doesn't mean I don't care but I just like to, I hate hospitals, I hate dealing with all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, this is a part of life and I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who have had to deal with this with relatives and if you haven't yet in your life, I'm sure you will someday. And it's just one of the worst things in life that we have to deal with. And um, I think especially if it's like your parent or one of your children or siblings or close relatives it's probably got to be one of the hardest things in life that we have to go through and uh, I tend to be one of those people who works really 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 hard to hold myself together and uh, as soon as you open yourself up to everyone and share everything then you become more vulnerable and so that's just my explanation of why I choose to limit how much I share I guess you could say so earlier today I know when we went to the hospital Ken was like you know there's gonna be a time when we just need to share this in our videos because it's reality and it's something the kids are gonna have to deal with and uh you know like basically just saying you can't avoid it forever and I know that and so I just figured um just to make you guys aware of I don't know what's gonna happen this week how much time I'm gonna be up at the hospital and everything that's gonna go on just wanted to let you guys know that like I just don't know um, if we're gonna be able to post every day and so if we don't you now know why and, um, and like I said our videos are short or it's just Carly because she's pretty much the only one that'll film by herself uh, just so you guys understand why or if maybe I don't seem normal to you or whatever like that's why so um, It'd be great if you guys want to say some prayers tonight or today or any time <laughs> for my dad I would really appreciate that and um, crazy enough Ken's dad's having surgery tomorrow so he's been dealing with health issues off and on too for the past couple years and he's having not like a major major surgery a surgery that'll help take care of one of the symptoms and problems that he's been having um my dad's having a procedure done tomorrow as well and we'll probably be getting some more test results back and like I said I think in the next 
day or two is really gonna tell us a lot for my dad whether he's going to be able to fight this or whether it's something that's just his body and overall condition if he's too weak so I think that's it I, like I said just wanted to let you guys know what was going on and uh, say some prayers I really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully if you see us that's a good thing right so I try to think positive and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow bye